Oi, oi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> so, today by the title, Create This Book. Get in here. Fingers down by side. I'm sorry, I'm weird, I know. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Moving on. <laughs> So, today's all oh, distracted by this one. Eighth. Oh. I don't know why I got so distracted by this. But today we are doing. I can never find a page. One second, one second. <gasps> Ace! Hi! And Goofy, of course. I love you both. <laughs> This one. Create a test. I was revisiting old friends in this. <laughs> uh, create a test. Uh, test the difference between your right and left hand. So, I am right handed. I don't often write or do anything I'm not ambidextrous or whatever the word is I'm trying to think of things that I do in my left hand predominantly but I really don't do anything <laughs> it's my lazy left hand <laughs> so I did think about drawing Ace um, because I can draw him in my mind. I can draw him. I know exactly the lines that I need to do. But I stuck with this sketchbook cover that I did because it was easy and simple enough and I wouldn't stress myself out over it. <laughs> but I haven't done too bad on the sketching. But we are going to colour it as well. So that's going to be the interesting part. I struggled really hard <laughs> to control it. Sometimes you'll see that I have to sort of hold my arm, hold my left arm <laughs> with my right hand to sort of get it going the way that I want it to go. It's also extremely hard because I believe at some point I broke something in my hand and I went to the hospital. I just kind of just plodded on with life. But if I... You might notice it when I bend my hand, my, my fingers, my middle finger and my wedding ring finger, like that finger, they kind of cross over. I can't make a fist. <laughs> So, I don't know what I did there. I'm not a hospital t type person. I will suffer with broken bones and injuries. <laughs> but obviously, colouring on this side with my right hand, easy. Now we get to this side and I'm like, uh... <laughs> Figuring out how to hold the pencil. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was cheating or not by holding my um, my hand with my right hand because technically I'm controlling it with my right hand and it's cheating. But it was very hard. And I really was trying. <laughs> I've gone outside the lines and everything. I struggled. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out how to hold the pencil. 
it's just I don't think about it in my right hand. I just pick up the pencil and it's done. But this <laughs> this was meant to be a quick prompt, and and I think it took me about two hours, probably just on that page with the left hand. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to write as well. I appreciate my right hand so much more. I believe that's dry now. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit, but hey, it'll be fine. Let's just move on to the next page. <laughs> this next page, when I can find it, is around here somewhere. That page? No. No. I sometimes write the page numbers down wrong. Ah, this one. Create ugliness. Make this page ugly. Tough one. I'm like... <sighs> Congratulations. <laughs> See? It doesn't want me to do it. It doesn't want me to make this page ugly. But yes. Create ugliness. Make this page ugly. I flipped out the refusal no thing. I contemplated it for a while but I think there might be another prompt that I might want this for and we can have a attempt at it at this create ugliness because sometimes I'm like too harsh on myself <laughs> but I think my art is ugly so technically me just making art on here will be ugly to me <laughs> but we're gonna have an attempt because i have an idea in my head now it's just whether i can execute it <laughs> after me slating myself why don't i ask you to subscribe <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> I'm so sick of saying subscribe. I'm at the point where I'm a bit like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I really don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're going to put Will you over there. He is a beautiful little character I created. Out of, well, I designed him in a Create This Book two I think and then made him out of clay because I loved him so much he um, I do have a video if you want to go see that and if you want to subscribe for more content yay if you don't want to subscribe boo you <coughs> slippery little sucker That's my uh, right hand throwing a paddy because I use my left one to draw. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have an idea in my head. I've kind of doodled it out. So, this is going to either be... Well, it's going to be fail anyway because it's ugly. <laughs> but it's going to either be... Good ugly. Or bad. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna. What is with this pencil? So it's kind of a dump land. Basically, what I was trying to get across is because there's a door there with the mailbox and some footprints and where the car is, it's like a, a garage, a garage, however you say it. But it's a toxic 
wasteland slash dump. Because I feel this is how we're going to end up living in like however many years. Probably 10 at this rate. And then you'll all be complaining that you have to wear masks. <laughs> because we're living in a wasteland. Sorry. Crappy today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just, I hate this and it is anxiety level probably nine that we're going to end up this way. But it's just because I see people just drop their rubbish and then dump all their stuff that they don't want, like all their rubbish, instead of taking it to a designated area where we have it. How about we just stop wasting stuff? Chucking away things that other people could use, but because you can't make no money off of it, you just throw it away. There's people in need out there that could use that, could use a little help. Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> I told you, I'm in a weird mood <laughs> recording this today. It's kind of looking like grass at the minute, that's my worry. But, I've explained the intent behind it. It's a toxic wasteland, and it's just how I feel we're all going to end up. And as you can see, this is a door, so we're actually living in it now, at this point. We live in, like, a, in a mound rubbish I'm sorry for my crabbiness I, <laughs> I apologize but it just frustrates me and I don't know it just it baffles me the way people um, live and I can't wrap my mind around it but that's why I like to create happy, joyful art. So, back to the colouring anyway. Uh, I can't decide whether the colouring's right on the, the mounds of dirt and rot and stuff like that because it kind of just looks like a valley with grass and someone's living like a, in a hobbit hole. <laughs> I tried to give the sky sort of a toxic mist over it, but that's just coming off like a sunset, so. I've definitely hit the prompt, it's definitely ugly. <laughs> I'm like, it looks like a landscape, this isn't right. So now I proceed to add some stink lines? I don't know what you would call that. Aroma lines? <laughs> Ah, uh, funny. But that's it. That's my ugliness page. Definitely hit that prompt. Yeah. That's it for today. I apologise for my crabbiness. <laughs> Joyful Spam will be back soon. I just... I don't know. Anxiety levels. And then doing this one, adding to my anxiety. Uh, but... We'll be back to the joyful, colourful art. <laughs> I just can't decide whether it comes across as toxic wasteland or... Stinky hills. <laughs> Paw print. Um, I used the brush marker for the paw print, but it seems to have smudged off, so we'll uh, fix that with a good old colored pencil. Ta -da! So, 
where is it? Create a test. Which, to be fair, I don't think I did too badly when I left, considering I barely use it. And then create ugliness, which we nailed that prompt. Ugly. I know. It's like I said, stinky hills or wasteland. Can't decide. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. <laughs> also, if you have a request on a page, just leave that in the comments below. And I'm happy to oblige. Oblige? Oblige? Whatever. Anyway. If you enjoyed this video please give this the old thumb and room I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe <laughs> it's coming yay do it <laughs> Do it! Make me happy again! Anyway, I apologise for the mood. I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>